In case you missed it, McDonald's McPlant expands to 600 more U.S. locations. Colgate introduces its first fully recyclable toothpaste tube, and the world's oldest tortoise turns 190. Vegan Baby Bell Cheese is finally here. Instead of the classic red wax that coats the dairy-based version, the mini vegan cheese wheels are wrapped in peelable green wax. The cheese is made from a coconut oil blend and contains calcium and vegan-friendly vitamin B12. The lunchbox snack is available in Sainsbury stores in the UK. And fear not, it's launching in the US this March. McDonald's is expanding its McPlant Burger to 600 locations across the Dallas, Fort Worth, and Northern California regions. The move is an attempt to appeal to their growing flexitarian customer base. The McPlant patty was co-developed by Beyond Meat and includes ingredients like peas, rice, and potatoes. The burger comes dressed with lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions, mustard, and ketchup. Though it's not all vegan as it comes with conventional mayo and cheese. And just a heads up, the patty is prepared on equipment shared with animal products. But across the pond, the UK's McPlant, which became available nationwide earlier this year, is truly plant-based, complete with vegan sauce and non-dairy cheese. In more food news, former Top Chef contestant Spike Mendelson just opened a vegan restaurant called Plant Burger in New York City's famous Union Square. Plant Burger has locations in Whole Foods market stores up and down the East Coast, but this is the restaurant's very first standalone location. Its staple menu item, the Plant Burger, features a Beyond Meat patty with tomato, lettuce, pickles, caramelized onion, and plant sauce on a potato bun. Mendelssohn says his restaurant isn't just for vegans, it's for everyone. If people can start to switch up their burger intake with plant-based once in a while, it's an easy entry point for the vegan lifestyle. Colgate toothpaste tubes will be recyclable by 2023. While toothpaste is vital to keeping our teeth clean and healthy, there's a dirty side to the oral hygiene industry. Most toothpaste tubes contain plastic and aluminum, which aren't easily recycled. In the U.S. alone, one billion toothpaste tubes end up in the landfill every year. So in 2021, Colgate launched its first recyclable option in its Smile for Good range. It uses HDPE, which is much easier to recycle plastic. And in the coming years, Colgate has pledged to make all of its products recyclable. Valentino is the latest luxury brand to introduce its own spin on vegan, sustainable sneakers. The Italian fashion house reimagined two of its most iconic casual shoes, the Rockstud Untitled and the Open. They feature recycled and bio-based leather alternatives made from polyols, a corn sugar-based vegan leather that has traditionally been used as a sugar-free sweetener. Corn sugar-based leather is a major improvement on polyurethane pleather, which is made from fossil fuels. Valentino's new sneakers reflect a desire to, as they say, change gears while maintaining luxury and artisanal traditions. The world's oldest living land animal, a Seychelles giant tortoise named Jonathan, celebrates his 190th birthday this year. Jonathan has been around for nearly two centuries of world history, from Abraham Lincoln's presidency to the moon landing. He has lived on the Caribbean island of St. Helena since 1882. Jonathan the tortoise has become a bit of an institution on the remote Atlantic Ocean island. While not endangered, giant tortoises are classified as vulnerable, and conservationists are working to increase the global population, which is threatened by hunting, poaching, and the pet trade industry. Jonathan's historic birthday can help spread awareness about this species' conservation needs with efforts being spearheaded by organizations like the Galapagos Conservancy, the World Wildlife Fund, and Island Conservation. That's it for today. Have you tried the McPlant yet? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.